Mastering Coordinating Conjunctions, a Peer Review Approach. Hello there, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of coordinating conjunctions. We will not only understand their usage, but also practice applying them and reviewing each other's work, which is a crucial part of learning. So, let's get started. Coordinating conjunctions are the super connectors in English. They join words, phrases, or even whole sentences together. Remember the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. These are your coordinating conjunctions. For example, I like cats, but my sister prefers dogs. In this sentence, but is the coordinating conjunction linking two independent clauses together. To really master coordinating conjunctions, you have to start using them in your writing. Write short texts, stories or essays, making sure you include coordinating conjunctions. Let's start with a simple exercise. Write a short paragraph about your day and include at least one sentence using each of the fanboy's conjunctions. Peer review is a great way to improve your understanding of coordinating conjunctions. Exchange your texts with a partner. While reviewing, make sure to focus on 1. Correctness. Are the coordinating conjunctions used correctly? 2. Coherence. Do the sentences flow smoothly? 3. Variety. Has the writer used a range of conjunctions? Make sure to give constructive feedback, pointing out what works well and what could be improved. Continued practice and peer review are the keys to mastering coordinating conjunctions. Keep writing, reviewing, and applying the feedback you receive. And that wraps up our lesson on coordinating conjunctions. Remember, learning is a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to mastery. With diligent practice and effective peer review, you'll be a coordinating conjunction pro in no time. Happy learning, and see you in our next lesson.